With Sora 2, you can create anything you want. Have you ever wanted to create anything? Those videos were done by Sora AI. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to become a Sora expert, but more importantly, how you can use Sora to actually make money. And if you stick with me until the end of this video, I'm gonna give you my Sora 2 video creation guide absolutely free. Now, throughout this video, I'm gonna show you how to become an expert at creating Sora videos, specifically for your business, that way you can make more money. Now, if you're watching this video and you just wanna use Sora for personal use. My free master prompt guide will also give you fun personal videos as well. But my goal is to help you grow and scale your business. Let's get into it. All right, so step one is getting access to Sora AI. Now you can simply go to sora.chatgpt.com or if you go to Google and just type in Sora, you could also find it right here. Now, just as a heads up, Sora was created by OpenAI or AKA ChatGPT. So you will need a ChatGPT or open AI account. All right, so as far as price, ChatGPT is free or they have a free plan, but if you wanna use Sora AI video creation, you need the minimum plan for open AI or ChatGPT, which is $20 per month. Now, the cool thing is on that plan, you get up to 100 video generations per day. Now, if you do upgrade to the pro version, which is $200 per month, you can now create higher definition videos in 1080p and you can also make longer videos instead of 10 seconds you can now make 15 second videos all right so now i want to walk you through how sora actually looks. now this is the desktop version you can also use it on your phone i personally prefer the desktop and you'll see why in just a little bit this is the home page here and the cool thing is this is similar to like a tiktok feed where it has a bunch of uh shorts or quick sora type videos and these are some of the top creators making really cool and funny and creative type videos as you can see now, if you scroll down over here, you can also search different people, some of the top creators. In the middle here, you can look at the leaderboard at some of the top creators using Sora and getting the most views. This is not really something I really use. My goal is to make more money in my business, but I want you to understand how Sora works from beginning to end. So that's why I'm going over everything on the desktop version. All right, so this is the homepage on the desktop. And as you can see, this looks like an Instagram or TikTok feed where you got these quick short form videos. These are all created on Sora. Sora. Now on the left dashboard here, you'll see we have the homepage, which is where we're at. We have a search bar where you can search other creators. You have a leaderboard of some of the top people using Sora. You have your personal notifications here, and then you have your actual account, okay? This is pretty much where I'm always at. I don't really care about what others are creating. Unless I want some inspiration and ideas, then maybe I'll look at that. But what's important here is you'll see on my bio, on my profile, these are the videos that I actually published, okay? So these are actually public and people can actually go download these or watch them or share them. But then you have your drafts, okay? So right here in drafts, these are the videos I created, but I didn't actually publish. Now I can still go to my drafts and download some of these videos, right? So you can see here, some of these I've been using for ads for my, my business, for other businesses. I can literally click on a video here and then on the top right, I can hit download. Now I'm personally using the Sora Pro version, which is the $200 a month. So all my videos are typically HD higher definition. So that's why my videos typically look a little bit better. But if you use the other version, the videos still come out really cool. And if you're just starting out, this is perfect. And again, you can make a hundred videos per day. All right. So the next thing here is your character or as Sora calls it your cameo. Okay. So as you can see, if I hit edit character, I have me as a character, right? So basically you can upload your video in voice and Sora is gonna clone you in the videos as you saw in the beginning of the video. All right, so as you can see, I'm in the cameo or character section. And this is important here because now what I can do is if you don't want anyone using your video in their marketing or whatever videos, then you wanna make sure that this says only me. Okay, that's really important. Now for me, I let everyone use my cameo, my videos. I've built a pretty big business and brand. So I allow people to use my cameo for their businesses or a lot of 
of my students are promoting a lot of my products, so I allow them to do that. So that's why I have it on everyone. Or you can also do people that you approve. So if it's like, hey, I want my business partner to use it or whoever, right? That's the cool thing about this is not everyone is allowed to use your character. Now, the next part here is you can now add a side character. So this could be your favorite pet. It could be maybe your favorite coffee mug. It could be whatever you wanna add here. And this will be added in your videos if you want. Now, I did mention earlier that I prefer the desktop version to create the videos. However, if you wanna add your own Cameo, you do need the app version. So you need to go to the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store and download the Sora app. It should look something like this. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna sign in to the app version on your phone. You're gonna click on settings and scroll down to where it says characters. Click on that and it's gonna give you some super simple instructions. That way it can create your character or your cameo. All right, so now that you've uploaded your character, now you can create videos with you in there. Now you can make it as simple as like, if you go to where it says describe video, as you can see, your character should come up. So you can go ahead and click on that. And then basically you could just say whatever you want. Now you can make this very simple. I'm gonna also give you my Sora interactive guide. That way it'll create some really good prompts for you. But essentially you could go here and just say, you know, Jonathan Montoya, or, you know, it's gonna be your username, climbing a mountain saying, let's go. And that's very simple, right? Now, this is just a very simple example. I'm gonna show you how to create some really good videos in just a little bit, but I do wanna mention some of the Sora settings and this is why I like the desktop version, okay? So if you click on the settings here, you could choose your model. Now, most people are using just the regular Sora 2. I use the pro version because I want the higher quality. Again, the Sora 2 works just as good. It's just not gonna be the HD, okay? So choose your model. Again, you can only do this on the desktop at the time of filming this video, okay? Orientation, do you want it to be like a portrait, like a short or a landscape video? Resolution, I'm gonna do high. Again, this is if you're on the Sora 2 version. And then duration right now, there's 10 and 15 seconds. I'm just gonna choose 10 for now, okay? And then I could go ahead and generate that video. So now again, that was a simple prompt. Now, if I click on this one right here, you can see the prompt that I used promoting one of my businesses, right? So it's a it's a more in-depth prompt where I'm telling it exactly what I want every single second. Now, again, I'm gonna show you how to use my Sora prompt guide to be able to do this for you. We have anywhere from URL to video, basically where you can add your business URL, right? So as you can see, I added my business URL I'll hear my business logo. And then it gives me 10 different prompts I could simply copy and paste, okay? So again, if you stick with me until the end of this video, I'm gonna give you my entire guide absolutely free. Also, if you want me to personally send you the guide, just say Sora prompt guide down below and I'll personally send it over as well. Now, one of the most powerful features is you can actually upload business logos, business products, and Sora will actually make the videos with the products or the logos in them. So for example, as you can see, I have one of my viral softwares called Freedom Threads, as you can see, it brought in my entire logo and now the video is promoting that program, right? Now, the cool thing here is in my Sora prompt guide, you choose your video length here and then you add your product. So in this case, I'm using this example here. This is my viral software Freedom Threads that help people go viral online. So if I add this into the offer URL on the prompt guide and then upload a photo of my business logo or my products, this again will give you the entire prompt ready to paste into Sora. Now, here's the cool thing if you upload an image, right? So let's just say I'm using this prompt. I'm gonna go to Sora right here. Now, this knows that I'm using my business logo. So here's the cool thing, okay? In Sora, I can go ahead and add right here with this little plus sign, I can go ahead and add the logo or whatever you wanna add in the video, right? The prompt guide will actually know this because um, I uploaded a photo and it will actually add that in the actual video. And this is where it becomes extremely powerful. So not only can you do this with your business logos, you can do this with pretty much any product. You don't even have to go and buy the products now. You could just get a picture of that product, have you as the main character, and then you demoing that product. Very easy, you could just go here to the little plus sign, and then you upload an image of that product, and then the prompt will basically be you selling that product. Now, as an example, you can see here that I created some Sora videos for this roofing company. As you can see, we have their actual logo in the background, and this was all done using Sora. And 
here's another roofing company. As you can see, this is an ad getting people to this company, but as you can see, it has the logo in the background. So now Sora becomes really powerful, not only for you as a business owner, but for you even helping other business owners because you can now create content, you can now create ads for them, and they can be extremely creative. All right, so I showed you the URL to video inside my Sora video creation prompt guide. Now, I do wanna show you a few other features in here that's gonna help you create really good prompts and really good videos. I do have a very simple guide that way. It kind of shows you like what you should do, what you shouldn't do. This is just a very simple guide and formula. So make sure that you take a look at that inside of the guide. But I do also have my prompt builder. This is actually really cool if you wanna create something from complete scratch. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna ask you, hey, who's in the video? So, you know, it's gonna ask your username. It's gonna ask, what are they doing? Are they walking? Are they running? Are they flying? What's the setting, right? What does it look in the background? Okay, what's the camera angle? Do we want them to zoom in? Do we want a drone shot, right? Those are the things that we're looking for. What's the style? Is it cinematic documentary? Is it a commercial? And then what kind of audio do you want, right? If you go ahead and put that in my prompt guide, it'll give you a done for you prompt that you can add to Sora, right? So this is actually really cool because now you can use this to create a perfect Sora video. Now let's just say that you just created a video and you like it, but you just wanna add one thing to it. So for example, let's just say I created this video here of me doing a backflip into the ocean, okay? Now, let's just say I wanna add something in the background, maybe a shark swimming or dolphins jumping. What you can do is you can actually remix the video and add that to the original video. So you don't have to go and recreate the prompt over again so what you do right so you click on the video here and then on the little three dots on the right you're gonna go to where it says remix okay and then we can go ahead and say add dolphins jumping in background could be as simple as that and then what it's gonna do it's gonna recreate that the exact same video but it's gonna add your changes now okay so this allows you to make the perfect video let's just say you get a good generation but you're like oh I wish I would have changed this or done this you can just remix the video it'll still take the same concept and then add or remove whatever you want now I hope you can see the power of Sora and the things you can do with it because this is such a powerful tool not only for your business but even if you have other clients or you want to reach out to other business owners and help them create content, create ads. And these businesses will pay you, especially if you can help them get more leads and sales. Now, I did mention in the beginning of this training that I'm using Sora to make money with my business. So basically what I'm personally doing is I'm creating Sora videos around my programs and then I'm sending people to those programs and then people are buying them and I get 100% commissions. Now, the cool thing is you can clone my exact same process. I'm gonna leave a link down below. It's gonna be the first First link in the description. That's my AI Launchpad program, where not only you're gonna learn how to use AI from beginning to end, but also you're gonna be able to resell this as your own. And then of course, now you can create AI videos using Sora to sell this program at 100% commissions. Now, if you have your own products and services, you can still use this method to do that. But this is for those who don't have a product, who don't have an offer, and wanna start making money using AI, and especially this method today. Now, as I mentioned, if you want the Sora interactive guide that I showed you inside of this video. That's going to be the second link in the description down below or just say Sora interactive guide and I'll personally send it over. I hope this video was helpful. We'll see you on the next one and God bless.